find the fixed points in normal form of W equal to Z minus 1 over Z plus 1. So the transformation given to us as W equal to Z minus 1 over Z plus 1. To find the fixed points, we have to put W equal to Z over here. So we get Z is equal to Z minus 1 over Z plus 1. Cross multiplying, we get Z square plus Z equal to Z minus 1. So this Z will go and we get Z square plus 1 equal to 0, which implies Z equal to plus minus iota, right? So the fixed points are plus iota and minus iota. Now to require the normal form, we have to subtract the fixed point from the given transformation, right? So first fixed point alpha is iota, right? So this is putting W as Z minus 1 over Z plus 1 minus alpha is iota. So this is equal to Z minus 1 minus iota Z minus iota over Z plus 1, right? Okay, and then we have to subtract the another fixed point that is beta, which is minus iota from the given transformation. So W minus beta, that is Z minus 1 over Z plus 1 minus of minus iota, that is plus iota, right? So this is equal to Z minus 1 plus iota Z plus iota over Z plus 1. Then we just divide these two equations. So we get W minus alpha over W minus beta, that is W minus iota over W plus iota. And that is equal to right hand side of this equation divided by the right hand side of this equation. So we get Z minus 1 minus iota Z minus iota over Z minus 1 plus iota Z plus iota. And then just take the factors. Taking Z common, we get 1 minus iota. And from here, we get, if I write minus 1 as plus iota square, and here I'm having minus iota. So now taking iota common, then I get iota minus 1. Or if I get minus outside and taking iota common, so then I get 1 minus iota, right? Divided by taking z common we get 1 plus iota and here I'm having just again putting minus 1 as iota square and this is plus iota and if I take iota common I get iota plus 1 or 1 plus iota right so from here taking 1 minus iota common so I get 1 minus iota into z minus iota over and taking 1 plus iota common, I get 1 plus iota into z plus iota. Fine? Okay. And this is w minus iota over w plus iota. If you notice that this result is similar to this transformation, right? And here you will notice that alpha is iota so you get w minus iota over w plus iota that is w minus alpha over w minus beta on the left hand side and then this is your lambda and on the right hand side again you are having z minus alpha over z minus beta that is z minus iota over z plus iota now solving for this lambda so if you rationalize this okay your lambda is equal to 1 minus iota over 1 plus iota. Let me rationalize this. So I get 1 minus iota over 1 minus iota, which gives us, this is 1 square plus iota square minus 2 iota divided by 2. And this will go. So this 2 is cancelled out with this 2. I get minus iota as lambda. So if you take the mod of this lambda, you get mod of minus iota and mod of minus iota is equal to 1. And whenever you have mod of lambda to be equal to 1, what kind of transformation you are having? Then that transformation is, yes, elliptical transformation, right? So, so for mod lambda equal to 1, 
the transformation is elliptic that's it so it is very important to revise all the results and the forms of transformations and the results for the fixed points all that you have to be very very clear you have to revise the previous contents then only you can solve these fixed points and get this required normal form of the bilinear transformations okay thank you so much god bless